What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. When we left off in the last episode, we uh, had quite a bit of a time working on our new bullet ship that is taking forever. Um, not really because we had to manufacture a ton of the parts and we kept having to switch, switch back and forth, it was mainly because of the amount of time the nanite machine takes to actually build each component and stuff. Um, as you can see, it's kind of coming along. Um, I actually have let this thing run for a long time. I was uh, doing the audio overlay for the post uh, commentary for the No Man's Sky episode from Saturday. And I had this running in the background, just on mute to where it was just building. It's just taking forever. I've been letting it run when I can, when I think about it. And it's still just taking forever. But the other thing that I ran into was that um, certain things, it wasn't building everything that it needed. I had to manually check it every now and again and make sure it was building stuff. Um, so that was kind of a problem. But I'm pleased to announce something else. So while this is still under construction and I'm not sure how that's going to go, I'm going to, full disclosure, I'm not sure exactly what this episode's going to be uh, revolving around because I really can't see this being done at a manageable time in order for me to get this done because it's just taking so long um, that quite frankly, I, I don't think I have enough time personally, like behind the scenes, to wait for this to be done. I'd be out of time for the a lot of time that I leave myself for recording these episodes. So I don't know if I'll be able to deal with this at all. Luckily, we seem to have a power situation that's resolving itself because, um, you know, because our lights are on. At the at, off and on here and there, my lights have been flickering and stuff's been turning off. Uh, because I hadn't engaged the batteries, the batteries are still on charge. Because I wanted to see if it could basically charge those up. But, what I'm actually thrilled to announce that I've actually fixed is the Nanite script. So as you can see, we're actually getting a readout now on the missing items. I've also changed it to be the Sleepless OS Nanite Assembler Controller, mainly because I realized the Nanite system is a mod, and so it's not something that you would use to just run your base or your ship naturally. Um, it's essentially a Nanite system for that mod specifically. So I decided to rename it so it, once I start working again on the actual OS that's designed for running your ship and stuff and automating things, it won't actually probably be included by the with the vanilla version. It would be one of those like if you also wanted to include it, you could include it type of thing. Uh, but I spent probably a good hour, hour and a half going through the script manually chunk at a time like in Visual Studios and cutting and pasting pieces into a different... I have my my testing unit here, um, which I think I finally tested the whole script out on, but uh, actually I want to clear that because that may not be a good thing to have that um, running in the background. Uh, having two of them updating it may not be a good thing. But as you can see, it's updating. Uh, the power cells just changed. The superconductor changed. Now, the one thing I'm not 100% sure about, I added in um, the ability for the script to detect the magnetrons from the void thrusters right here. I did this by basically reverse engineering the mod. I went in and found what the mod sees the actual magnetron item component as, and I added that in hoping that it would be able to build the definition and figure it out. Since I've added that, it hasn't actually needed any magnetrons yet, so I don't know if that'll work or not, but you can actually just see that it updated in real time, which is pretty cool. They also changed something with the programmable blocks, so it's something worth noting. Um, now there's a frequency. Changes the frequency at which the script is executed. Setting it to zero will run the script every tick every ticks. Hmm. Um, moving the slider to the far right will stop the uh, will stop running the script. So you have kind of a milliseconds, blah, 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 and then you have never. So basically the way we had it set up before where you went in and at the top part in the program constructor set up how many ticks for it to, to use, that's not really needed anymore. Uh, it's built right into the default programmable block now, which is pretty awesome. So I'm super stoked about that. I'm really excited. Um, 
I'm honestly trying to think of what else we can do, though, because, uh... Because I kind of need this thing to be built already. Um, it's taking its sweet time, but we can't really do much in terms of going to space and everything until the ship's ready to go. So, um, there's a couple other things I wanted to try to do, maybe. Um, first of all, I need to make some hydrogen bottles because I'm actually out. And for some reason, I don't really understand why, because it, it was working before. Maybe it was a power thing. Let's check now that we have power again. Um, isn't there another light in here somewhere? I thought there was. Did I not add any more? Maybe I didn't. Or I removed them. Oh, there it went. So it must have been a power glitch. I was going to say I couldn't get hydrogen out of the medical bay before, and I was concerned about that. Um, but we do have... The 7.8% of hydrogen still. I haven't had to make any more. It's lasted us quite a while. Um, but what I think I want to do is make a couple more bottles because I lost them. Oh, I need nickel for that. That's fine. Let's add two, I guess. That's hydrogen. That's oxygen. I uh, might want to make some oxygen ones just in case. So we'll need... It's hard for me to tell what we actually need because it keeps feeding in from the uh, the drill platform. So as you saw, it it was all red. Now it's not. Um, we are missing some things. So let's check and see what it's doing here. So we have gold set up. We have cobalt set up to be made. So we need like 20 more nickel or something like that. Let's just do 30. I like to add a little bit of extra. Um, I did recently move everything from the assembler and the drill platform. If I can find it, there it is. I had grabbed all of these. It's actually, I have stuff in there now. And I don't know how it's doing stuff because on the production tab it'll say like this, we don't have what we need. But then like that, we don't actually need any more cobalt. Or nickel, I mean. So, I can't quite figure out either why it's not transferring transferring, or um, or why it's not showing up here. But, you know, whatever. So, anywho, uh, we're working on that. That's making what it needs. I'll make some more bottles. Because apparently when I had to respawn, when they did that big update and it changed things and I had to respawn my character, I, did, I lost all my equipment. So, including the bottles I had on me, so I don't have any more hydrogen bottles. I did think about possibly going and looking for that... I don't remember... There's the driller drone. I was going to say, I don't remember if I ever found the driller or not. Um, so I think that was one of those we found it, but I couldn't actually get it back because it's out of power. Um, I wonder if I could take some uranium with me. So I think I might try that just to give us something to do. We're going to leave this up and running. Uh, but I need to do something. Because this is taking forever. Oh, I don't have any jetpack. I need the, the bottles for the jetpack, though. Ugh. So we're in a bit of a bind here in terms of getting something done. Because... I have to wait on the gold for it to make these gravity generators. I have to wait for this to be done before I can get to these and these and these. Yeah. And I need these before I can go exploring. So I guess I might just have to wait a minute and see what's going on. Okay, so I actually tested something that was kind of intriguing to me and it ended up working out okay. Which was whether or not you could cancel something in the production tab and basically get access to, um, wait, what's going on here? Oh, I'm actually selecting on the refinery. Nah. Oops. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. where am I? There we are. So, let's grab this. And we'll go ahead and put these back, because I don't really need them at the moment. Uh, we might want to make a bit more ammo, though, and that's what I was going to get at. So, like, if I come in here and I do... Like this. Let's just say we want to make two, but there's all this in front of it. With the nanite script set up, I can actually cancel this. 
it'll make these two and then it'll reset up what it needs. It'll recalculate it. So then we're back to square one. So that's a really cool little feature that I didn't actually even mean to do. Uh, but it is in there, which is pretty awesome. Um, I also took the time while I was sitting around, before I thought of that, to, before I thought to try that, I also corrected the hydrogen readout here, and I set it to its own script. So we have the hydrogen tank readout on the programmable block now, which is just its own little script. Um, and then I have the nanite assembler set up a little bit differently. Not too much different, it's just a little bit more compact and separated. Um, and so now it actually gives you the status of the nanite system as well as what items are missing. So that was another little, just a little, uh, what do you, what do they call it? Um, <clears throat> quality of life change, I guess. It was just a little adjustment I wanted to make. So f I almost ran off without the actual uranium that I wanted to take with me in case I actually can power this up. So let me grab this and we're gonna head out um, to the driller drone and see if we can't recover it. All right, it seems that we've spotted the target. I've got no hostiles in sight. It looks abandoned. All right, let's move. I couldn't help it. There's just a bunch of these trees around. It just looked like something that would be like sneaking up on something. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I built a reactor on here somewhere. And now I'm less sure because I don't see one. Oh, there it is. Right in front of my face. Just, just to point that out. It was right in front of my face. Okay, now... Uh, let's get in. You know what occurs to me? I brought hydrogen bottles, never filled them up. That does literally no good whatsoever. None. Okay, so let's try and take control of the ship. It looks like we have... I don't know if that's recharge or not. Let's actually check. Batteries are on recharge. So, let's actually turn those off, because I don't really want them to be used. Uh, we have 37 days, apparently. That's good. So, our thrusters are on. Alright, so now... Let's turn the gyroscopes on as well. Uh-oh. I don't have enough power. Okay. Uh, turn the recharge off that on. All right, now we can move around. And with any luck, we'll finally have enough uh, thrust to get us home here. I feel like I grabbed this thing already at one point, but apparently I did not. So I'm not really sure exactly what happened or when that happened or if it was something- oh no! The last time I did this, we crashed and died. That's what happened. I remember now. Okay. So, let's bring this ship home. Um, ooh. Dampeners are not doing their job very well. There we go. Alright, I have a connector. So I guess we'll go ahead and attach it to... Um, the hangar in here, if we can manage to pull that off without killing ourselves. Which, in all, in all honesty, would be a little bit miraculous to me. What is going on? Oh, the nanite system's repairing it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright. Um, let's try and turn it around. And I, camera in here gets really annoying. Let's turn our... Is that... Toggle. Okay, I don't actually have a connection set up, is that right? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the switch lock. I usually try to, so I was kind of curious about that. Alright, there, and we'll switch lock it. Um, now, we'll control the ship again. 
so that we can... what is this? That might actually be the toggle. Oh, camera. What are you doing to me? Alright, um, let's see. Turn those off. Uh, we'll... Are the batteries set to recharge? How did that happen? No, that's just the toggle, so let's turn those off. Um... Hmm. Or do I want to turn those on? Maybe it would fill up the rest of the station batteries a little bit more. It's whatever, though. So that's probably the recharge right there. Um, and it looks like we turned off all the important stuff. So we're not broadcasting anymore. So, yeah, I think that'll work. Get out. No Thank fuel. Out. Thank you. Um, give me this back. All right. So, yeah, the battery should be set to off so it's not charging because I don't want it to pull any energy from my uh, regular ship. So, uh, actually, you know what? This is this might actually be a good way to test out my script a little bit, too, because I'd like to check to make sure that the... I think I need iron plates. There, there. I'd like to check and make sure that the script can handle... Um, the, what do I, hold on, I'm just going to grab some steel plates and let's see what these take. Steel plates, cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try to attach a, a thruster here, a void thruster, because I want to see if the script can handle adding that modded block or not. Because I tend to use those in most of my builds, because I like the, uh... Okay, so it has 10 magnetrons set up. Let's see if there's any errors. There are no errors. Production? It doesn't have them listed, which concerns me a bit. Uh, let's actually... Oh, it actually did do it! <gasps> we did it. We did it! That's awesome. Now, why that's only showing one magnetron... In the oh, it's because it's in the production queue already. If I check the actual nano system, one and three twenty-seven. Oh, there it goes. It just needed time to update. Okay, so that's pretty awesome because it means that even if you're using the modded block, um, you can actually add in mod blocks that you need. Now, oop, wrong door. Now, grant you that could be really tedious. It could take a while. That's one reason I said that uh, when I originally was going to start out building this script that I wasn't sure if it was going to be able to handle modded because you're going to have to add every single modded block that you want built in all of their components and it's just a hassle. Um, but just for reference, you can do it by... Um, if you have a, a method or a function, I forget which one this falls under, I think it's a method, because it just... Well, uh, no, it does return, so I think it's a function? I don't remember. But basically it's going to go through all the definitions and go, it looks for this, so then make a blueprint of this object, which is how the, the assembler sees the um, definition thing. So all I did was I went down here and I added um, if it sees Magnetron, add this one. Now, I first just put in Magnetron, and it wouldn't work. It threw an error. Um, but when I dug through the actual mod files, it came up as Magnetron component, so I tried that, and now it seems to be working. So, that's pretty awesome. We can clear that. And now it shouldn't need that anymore. Uh, well, I don't know, because it didn't actually break down that, sh that uh, thruster yet. So... I don't know if it'll still see it or not. No, it's not seeing it. Cool. So yeah, we did that. That's pretty awesome. Um, I'll probably end up reconfiguring the driller as well, because with the Nanite and the drill platform, we really don't need a mining ship anymore. And I will bring this up. Somebody had mentioned in my last episode, I kind of ended with the thought of... Um, I'm just going to break this back down. I had ended with the thought of kind of feeling like Space Engineers lacks a bit of a purpose in terms of kind of what am I supposed to be doing since you're kind of just building for building's sake. Now, 
Um, it was brought up to me that uh, there was a comment that basically was like, I don't actually play in Survival or haven't, but I was under the impression that it um, was kind of about mining resources, automating said resources through conveyors and uh, like autopilot scripts for drilling machines and stuff. That's very possible because I have to admit the drill platform makes it much easier for me to produce video content. Um, the Nanite machine... So both of these kind of occupy a space in Space Engineers that you're probably supposed to work harder at. I did them for video production so that you guys didn't have to wait so long, but it has had the consequence of kind of taking away some of the purpose in, in the, the videos. Because basically, the natural progression would be, I need more resources, so I have to focus on building a mining ship. Now that I have a mining ship, I have to go mining. Now, once I get that done, now I might work on automating mining. Well, now I have to work on automating processing, and maybe I need a welding ship in order to fly around and build stuff. Things like that. And you cut out all of those purposes, all of those progression milestones by basically saying this thing gets all the resources, this thing makes all the resources, this thing builds all the resources. So in three blocks you kind of fix everything, essentially. And it does kind of turn into an almost creative build of why am I doing this? Which is what I've been running into a lot lately, is I have a lot of resources at my fingertips, and with the advent of the drill platform and everything it's kind of like, what is the point? Um, now, I've thought about possibly incorporating a bit more narrative into Let's Play series, particularly for space engineers, not like... Um, I don't know that I would like the idea of trying to do a Let's Play with role-playing involved, per se, in, ter in terms of true role-playing. Like, like I did at the tree over there. Alright, we have no tangos in the area. We need to move it. You know, I don't know that I would feel really good about that because if I was going to do that, I would just work more on machinima type series with Space Engineers. I wouldn't bother doing a survival. Um, but I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure with the way this is set up if there's really enough of a difference between survival and creative to make it worth the extra time it's taking to build everything. Um, that's something I've been thinking about and kind of playing around with in my head. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. I have thought about maybe a lot, a little less on the practical and more of the, like I said, more of a narrative driven where, uh, how do I put this? Like basically instead of, you don't really need defenses, right? I don't have the wolves turned on. I don't have any added scripts for pirate. I, I'm pretty sure I had pirates and other things turned on. I just haven't encountered any in a while. Um, I thought of that the other day as well, that I don't remember the last time that we had one of those drop ships with the parachutes where you're supposed to get extra armor and stuff like that. I don't remember that happening since like that first started. I know they nerfed it. Um, maybe you guys can let me know if that was hyper nerfed in that you hardly ever see them or if I've got something turned off in my settings. I don't think I turned that off though. Um, so, but I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing something where we have a bit more of a, I don't know, kind of a story-driven idea of not necessarily story, like, a whole plot, but kind of theme. Like, um, for an example, there's no real reason to make an observatory type thing or something. It serves no actual purpose um, among the practical things of the game, right? But it might be kind of cool. Is, so I'm kind of wondering about that, is is since the, we've made this a little bit easier, perhaps we should look at a bit more grandiose or thematic direction to take the Let's Play instead of a more practical. Lately I've been doing everything really practical of we need a ship to get in space, but then I started to ask myself why? Why do we need to go to space? Because the biggest reason to go to space is to either take on other ships or uh, mine asteroids and other planets to get platinum, stuff like that. Uh, but with the drill platform, we have access to all that. So there is that question of why are we doing what we're doing. So I'm kind of thinking the idea might be to just make up reasons. Um, so let me know what you guys think might be something cool. Obviously, we're working on heading into space with the advent of building the bullet. Um, so let me know what you guys think as far as 
should we have some kind of quota of we don't come back till we take down ten pirate ships or I don't know something like that do we build a, a space yard or something I don't, I don't know just let me know what you guys think um, the other option and this is something I hadn't considered until recently the other option is actually and this is gonna sound a little weird but what do you guys think of the idea of actually doing a creative let's play yep I'm serious it's a thought that I had uh, because like I said once we had the drill platform the nanite machine all that kind of stuff all we're really doing with this is taking longer it's just waiting and taking longer. we're not really having to go find the resources anymore so the idea of survival and creative is a little bit blurred here um, I don't really like the idea of going pure survival with no nanite and uh, drill platform for the biggest reason being I don't have a ton of time to dedicate to all of these videos and so before I added these machines I really wasn't making much progress at all with any of my builds um, you guys remember the first parts of this series when we were down over on that hill and it was like there was probably two or three episodes of trying to weld a walkway, you know, things like that. And I do apologize, this is turning into another talking episode, but like, you can say, I'm, I'm waiting on this ship. Freaking ship's taking forever to build. Anybody, anybody have time for that? Um, and I didn't want to turn this all ep whole episode into a programming episode because I was about to. I was, I was starting to talk at length at the about the script thing, and I was like, eh, if I'm gonna do that, I should probably just make another programming 102 episode. Um, but yeah, full disclosure, I'm in a bit of a transitional period with my channel right now. After coming back from that long break, I'm trying to experiment with the formatting of my videos, do some things a little bit different, experiment with different types of videos, maybe not focus so much on just straight Let's Plays and maybe do some more stylized, high-concept content. Um, because if I'm being honest, I love all you guys. You guys, you all are phenomenal. I love re reading the comments and getting the feedback and, and all that kind of stuff. And the idea that, you know, I don't often think about it, but if I really sit down and think about how many subscribers, 10,000 subscribers actually is, it's a lot of people. So it's, it's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, but at the same time, I've been running my channel for like five years and I'm kind of getting a little, um, feeling a bit stagnant with the growth that I feel like I'm peaking in growth that I haven't seen a huge spike in my subscriber numbers for quite a while it's just kind of been a slow trickle so I'm kind of experimenting with different things trying to get um, the content more known and in, 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 tr in front of more people kind of thing um, so I'm playing around with formatting and you might, you might have noticed some of my videos have had weird or different descriptions and titles and tag formatting and things like that. I've been playing around with all those different things. I'm actually taking a class at the moment that I found, um, which is supposed to help people learn how to be better at, um, using YouTube and, and basically just not falling into some of the same tropes to where you're out there more, you're more seen and stuff like that. Um, so all of your thoughts and stuff and ideas are welcome because at the moment, like I said, I'm in kind of a transition period and I'm looking for ideas and feedback on what you guys like and don't like kind of things so that I'm not wasting time trying to make something work that isn't, that no one's really happy with. And while my, my Let's Play series does tend to have quite a few views compared to some of my other stuff like FTB and things, um, I personally have felt the most disconnected from it lately. Um, every time I log in to do something, I'm like, what am I doing? What, what am I doing next? What's the next thing? And so that's what I was thinking about is I've been rolling around with some different ideas of maybe you guys giving me ideas of where to take and build things, not just for practical reasons of we need to do this because, but just to do it because it's cool or fun or something to work on. Um, my only concern with that is if we keep it survival and we do a big project, we can see how slow the progress is in real time. And I don't honestly have a lot of time to, you know, go do other things and just leave this running in the background and let it build stuff. So if we're thinking of doing more big projects, I am throwing around the idea of possibly doing a creative let's play in that we're not just building ships and things. We build bases, fight other things, turn on block damage, stuff like that. We just wouldn't need to mine resources. Um, so it's an idea that I was playing around with, so let me know what you guys think about all that. Um, 
I didn't really mean to do another one of these where the back half of the episode is just talking, but like I said, I'm still just waiting on this ship, and my nanite machine is kind of tied to that ship at the moment. So even if I built stuff in the base and things, or tried to paint this to break it down, it, it's still not really going anywhere. Uh, it's all kind of dedicated to that, uh, the bullet build up there. So hopefully this is going to be the last episode of that, and by next episode it'll be done. I mean, we've made good progress, uh, I won't lie. I mean, we're already onto the main ship, the ring's done, and it's probably about half way to a quarter, quarter to halfway done. Um, I don't really know what the holdup is and why it's taking so long, but anyways, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about all that stuff in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Also, uh, like I said, in terms of changing format, I might have to do something about my outro because I am starting to use the end screens and cards and stuff like that again to try and just maximize what's available to me. Um, another thing that's a big deal is to use the little bell icon because apparently it makes it to where you guys actually get notified um, when I upload something. It doesn't just get buried in your news feed. So if you're interested, be sure to use the little bell icon. Um, also, if you haven't, consider subscribing. We would enjoy having you here. And yeah, so we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.